Hey guys, welcome back. Today, it's all about food photography and how we can elevate our photos to the next level. How can we create better looking images? Well, I'm gonna show you by adding things into your images that'll help the composition. It'll help add interest to the photo other than just the food so we can get better quality photos. So if you're just beginning, intermediate, maybe even a pro, I've got some ideas for you that may take your image to the next level. Let's get into it. All right, I was trying to figure the best way to uh, do this video for you, and I think the best way is, is to look at some photos that I've already done in the past, and we'll just talk about the things that I've done with it, versus me trying to do a little table setup and, and showing it, because it's not about the placement, it's what about the actual item is. And the first item that we're gonna talk about is textured material, like cloths, linens, things like that. I mean, little basket here with some linen in and some buns in, it adds a bit of an organic feel. So you can see how I've added napkins and tablecloths and all kinds of other bits and pieces in through these images that adds interest and helps add to the composition and helps give a feeling to the image, especially that organic feel that I find with it. So the first one was linen and you can see how effectively that works within that little set of images that I showed you. Now another thing that you should always have on hand as a food photographer is wood wood cutting board, wood surfaces like this. How about a wood bowl, wood spoon? All kinds of wood products can give you that rustic, older feel, and even into the modern. So having a wide variety of the wood stuff. How about stones, marbles? How about a stone slab that you can put food on instead of a cutting board? There's all kinds of ways. So add stone and wood products into your photos will help elevate it, and I don't mean just in height, to that next level because you've added more interest into your photos. And as you can see by the photos that I've been showing you, it impacts it and it makes it look so much better when you're adding in that. And you can add these together. So you could add your textured linen in with your wooden cutting board and up the game even higher. Okay, another thing that we can add in, plants. Plants as in like leaves and things like that or flowers itself. So you can see in a bunch of these images how I've incorporated some flowers. You can even have like a drink with a flower floating in it. You can put flowers on cakes. You can sprinkle the flowers around. You can have them in the background, which is more or less what I tend to do. But you can see how I've been incorporating flowers. I mean, the outdoor picnic one there, I just got the little vase with the flowers and help set the mood more even more romantic. But you can see through that flurry of images how the plants help support the image and take it to that next level, which is what we're after. Now, another thing we're gonna to use to help up our game is vintage old stuff. And I just love adding that stuff into photos. I think it absolutely looks amazing. Old bowl, old rolling pin, all adds in. How about some old copper into the back? It just elevates the photo and makes that feeling and puts it in the time and place. Remember that picnic one I had with the plant in? Look at the other vintage old pieces in with it. That was actually set so I could do it with a model. So here's the pictures with the model. Check it out. That looks pretty cool. Not only do I have the textured linen and I've got the plants, I've got the vintage and everything else and the model just completes that and I think that looks awesome. So adding in old interesting things, old pizza cutters, all kinds of things you can add in and you can incorporate, like I say, all these pieces together, all the stuff I'm talking about to really up your game and create some stunning images. Now, the last thing I'm gonna talk about is some unusual things. Like, hang on here, let me just grab this under here. Cutlery, utensil. Here's that little pizza cutter I'm talking about. It's kind of an old fashioned one. Little wooden spoon, it's different. Old fashioned, dulled, worn knife, looks great. How about this one? You might have seen it before if you've seen my work. This is a skull type spoon. How about this little kitty cat spoon? It's different. How about these different little forks? And if you want something that's even more different, check out this fork. Look at that. I was given that as a Christmas present, but you can't get much more unusual than that. So by using unusual pieces, you can really elevate your photos because it's so different. People aren't used to seeing some of these pieces used within your photo that although they're supporting pieces, they're not the main thing, they can really elevate your photos, add a lot of interest. And like I say, add all this in, add your textures, your linens, your woods, your stones, your vintage pieces, your plants, your unusual things. You can create some really dramatic images by incorporating bits and pieces of this or putting it all together, kind of like I did with that picnic and create a masterpiece. 
That's it for this one. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Hit that bell notification so you're aware when I post new videos like this. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. So, until the next time.